Welcome everybody to another one question, two analysts, three minutes. I'm irisillustrated.com insider Tom Lloyd. Joining me as always is Kevin Sinclair. All right, Kevin, let's look at the, uh, the players Notre Dame is targeting from the class of 2021. Who, in your opinion, is the most underrated prospect on the board? Who's the guy that people aren't talking about enough? You know, a guy that more people should be talking about, in my opinion, is that Caleb Johnson, offensive lineman, uh, actually out of Fort Worth, moved down to Florida for his sophomore year, finished his junior year this last fall, junior season that is. You know, six foot seven, two hundred ninety-five pounds, and um, you know his his father, um, you know, had a stint in the NFL, played uh, offensive line at Ball State. So uh, his dad has really groomed him, uh, you know, from a young age as an offensive lineman. And I was lucky enough to speak with his dad, who, um, you know, really an impressive guy, uh, a guy who you can tell is very knowledgeable uh, in offensive line play, and has really, you know, served his son well. Um, so kind of talking like him is his dad uh, said, you know, he, he's a lot like me, except he's good, like really good as the way his dad sort of described him and, and watching the film. I agree. Um, so yeah, that's really a guy I think more people should be talking about, um, you know, around that upper range of offensive line recruits. And, and for you, who do you got? I think for me is another offensive lineman, uh, Matthew Wyckoff out of Magnolia, Texas high school. He's a three-star recruit, six, five, 305 pounds. Surely an interior guy. I see him as a guard, potentially a center. Um, no crystal ball picks in at this point, but he's got the big offer list, including Notre Dame, Auburn, Penn State, Texas, Texas a and I know fans love when the in-state kids have those big Texas offers. Uh, I think he's a guy that Notre Dame's in a much better shape for after not being involved with for such a long time. And I know he had trimmed his list, but he's been very receptive to, the, you know, during the conversations with offensive line coach Jeff Quinn. Um, he's had some communication with uh, a few Notre Dame commits as well. So he's a guy to keep an eye on moving forward. The key there is just getting him on, on campus, which they surely would have done this spring, but um, that looks <laughs> uncertain to say the least. But one other guy I'll mention is a wide receiver safety athlete at a Pleasant Grove, Alabama. Uh, Christian Lewis, another recent Notre Dame offer. I think he's a guy that uh, is one of the more underrated prospects. He's a three-star recruit, 6'3", 185 pounds. The interest in Notre Dame is very genuine. He was on campus last fall, showed a lot of interest in the school and the program, had some great conversations with wide receivers coach Delvon Alexander, and Notre Dame jumped, on, jumped in the offer list with him joining Arkansas, Kentucky, Nebraska, South Carolina, and a few others. So he's a guy surely to watch. Um, he's a big play kind of guy. Um, he's, a, he's a guy that can play wide receiver and safety at a high level. And, and the fact that he's shown so much interest is, is a big deal. So Notre Dame fans, keep an eye on him. Uh, that wraps it up for another one question, two analysts, three minutes at uh, irisillustrated.com. For Kevin Sinclair, I'm Tom Lloyd.